Let's see what's making the headlines on New Year's Eve Eve. Um, New Tears Eve is the headline in The Sun this morning, which reports that uh, two-thirds of England is set to be under the toughest coronavirus restrictions from as early as tomorrow. The paper also suggests that school years 11 and 13 are now likely to be delayed from returning until uh, the 11th of January. Remember, they were the ones that were due to go back on time. Millions more people will be placed under these stay-at-home measures. That's according to The Times. It reports that hospitals in London are drawing up plans to send intensive care patients to other parts of the country amid increasing alarm that COVID cases have reached a record high. Online, the I newspaper reports that the Prime Minister has been warned that the NHS faces a catastrophe in the new year without a nationwide lockdown. And the Mail reports that Boris Johnson is to hail a new chapter in Britain's history as his EU trade deal goes before Parliament. The paper says MPs will spend five hours scrutinising the 80-page bill which, replace, which places the trade deal into law. Um, let's have a look inside some of the papers then. This is inside uh, the Sun. Um, talking to Matt then about the cold weather, the cold start this morning. A lot of snow yesterday in many parts of the country. Some pictures here from... Uh, mainly from the north, from Wakefield, from Barnsley, from Staley Bridge in Greater Manchester, but also from Worcestershire as well. People enjoying the snow with a prediction that there could be six inches of snow for New Year, it says here. But uh, I mean, look, it's a nice thing that some people out are enjoying it, isn't it? Yeah, and this is Dorset, actually, the main picture, yeah, so it's further south too. Um, should we, uh, this is from, this is in quite a few of the papers this morning. It's about cups of tea. I have quite a lot of cups of tea and actually apparently, um, I'm not over 85, but if you, <laughs> if you are over 85, it's a good thing. Cups many, of tea how great. many do you have a day? I have too many. I, mean, I was going to say two, only two. No, f I mean, more, probably more than five, I would say. Yeah, I'm probably, I have cut them down a bit actually, because mm. I think they don't also, it's got caffeine, doesn't it? So, mm. so. Um, pensioners who drink more than five cups a day have been found to have better brain function than their counterparts who don't, according to the researchers. Um, they studied 676 people over 85. Tea drinkers who enjoyed more than five cups a day were shown to have more focus and a sustained attention span. This is research from Newcastle University. Well, I love a cup of tea. Um, you've got dogs, so you'll, yes. you'll empathise with this. Not um, that many dogs, though. No, I have, I have one, um, but this is incredible. Festive season, question mark. We're dog tired. The wolfhounds that turned into real party animals. This is uh, Claire and Jason Mather. Uh, they've got nine, nine. dogs. Uh, here they are all, <laughs> all are lined up. For their Christmas lunch. It's very organised, I have to say, all with their noses in their bowls. Here they're all flaked out afterwards, just like the I think humans. you do get sort of critical mass. Once you're past two, you might as well have... I mean, really? nine is obviously a lot, because you mm. can't fit them in the car. Well, I let our, our little dog out this morning before I left the house, and uh, there you are at four o'clock in the morning, written... rooting round, picking, message, picking messages oh. up from the lawn, and you <sighs> just think... Really, what a glamorous life. Yeah, but the thing is, you don't want it to get used to you waking up at 4 a.m. or it's going to. He's going to expect you to do that. And um, there's <laughs> lots of tributes being paid, actually, in the papers as well to um, the pioneering designer. They put it here um, in the mail, Pierre Cardin. He died at the age of 98. Um, and lots of really kind of sci fi um, things. You know, he really changed suits, for example, the Beatles in 1963. Look at the sharp suits that they were wearing. So, yeah, lots of people um, talking about him yesterday. A huge step forward in the fight against coronavirus as the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is approved by the UK regulator. The government has ordered 100 million doses and the first vaccinations will take place on Monday. The approval of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine it, it, it brings forward the date at which we're going to bring this pandemic to an end. But millions of people are set to be moved into the highest tier of restrictions as the NHS struggles to cope with a record, record number of coronavirus cases. Boris Johnson urges MPs to back his Brexit trade deal in a vote later on today.